Hello and welcome back to Mass of Orion Conquer the Stars. In the last episode we declared war against the Human Republic and um, they've lost like half of their systems already and most of their well-developed planets. So let's actually just um, continue that, right? I think we can now move on to Zinyan Prime. Uh, Zaryan Prime, sorry. So let's do that. Don't think they'll be able to put too much of a defense anymore. Because most of their colonies back here are actually pretty new. So they'll probably not have defensive installations or um, marines on the ground and all that stuff. So that'll probably be pretty, pretty easy. Alright, do I want to take out the outpost first or move into Fuku first? That's how many transports do we have here? Oh, quite a lot. So let's move into Fuku and come back here. Do, do, do. Management. All right. Move up. And move here. Not sure how much more troop transports that I'll need here because at some point I may want to send the troop transports to possible to to, to my other reserve fleets in order to prepare for the next strike, which would be against the Maglars. Who have been pretty helpful. I admit that, but um uh, this galaxy is not big enough for the both of us. And you continue to spy on me, bitch. Kill it. And destabilize it, Ursa. Yeah. I doubt the humans have much have, have have any capacity to send spies somewhere. So, um, yeah, good, 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 good. Doesn't really matter though. We'll be coming for you pretty pretty soon. Not sure where my main battles battle is going to take place though. We're probably going to move. Well. We're not there. Let's let's focus on the humans for now. Before we plan the next stage, but the next stage will be coming. Actually, troops from down here can actually just be reinforcing the border here. I think we have more than enough up here to to to, to take the rest of the human worlds. Probably don't need many transports per planet anymore. Another one of these. You already have one, right? Do you? You don't. Right? Do you have a Titan? You have one Titan. Right. You're gonna join that force over here. I also have other preparations uh, in motion in order to take Orion. I haven't been able to take Orion yet because it's sort of on the wrong side of the universe for me. Literally. Yeah, I started in this corner and Orion is on the opposite one. Which doesn't really help you take it. I mean, I could technically use a warm shortcut from the point that I had taken out the the, um, the kitties, but um, well, there's still a Mechla planet in the way. So, I all, but but I just wanted to mention I ha I haven't forgotten about Orion, and there are plans set in motion in order to get it. It'll just take a little while longer than usually. At this point, mostly I would have already taken it with just the forces that I already have available but I haven't really had access to it because it's sort of back in the corner here which is sort of well well cordoned off by the colony in the Omega system here so but I didn't want to open too many borders I was I was thinking was at at some point whether I wanted to declare war on the humans or the Maclars but uh, if I had tried to push through to Orion first then I would have so many borders to defend at the same time unless I was basically having a fleet stationed and at this side of the wormhole all the time in order to defend against incursions from here here and possibly also from the humans so I thought it was just strategically too bad a position to to, to put myself in so I didn't so wait, wait, where, where, where were you by the way sort of sort of got off on a tangent there all right just wanted to say I haven't forgotten about uh, the name of the game. Just 
just haven't been in a position to take it. In my in my point of view. So if I would have taken it, I would have had to go there earlier. Like um, used my open border treaty with a Mac, uh, with a Mershan to send some forces through and then take Ryan, build a build a jump gate and have a special fleet over here. I didn't. I decided against that. So sue me or whatever. Just just wanted to say that I could have maybe done it earlier. But I was sort of setting my focus to complete, to, 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 to conquering the entire galaxy without being, uh, without taking unnecessary risks, which was my choice to make. Uh, might not have been the best choice, but I think it was a decent choice. Alright, you can go down here. Everyone has produced down here, can probably go there. You'll join the forces here. Same to you. We can start preparing for the push against the Meglars. The Meglar. I don't think there's. I don't think that's that's a, that the plural form is correct. I think it's just one Meglar, the Meglar, the Meglar combine. Okay, six against seven. Uh, let's deploy to. We have some spare. All right, move here. You can move here. So, but the humans are almost spent. Oh, the Mechlaws are taking out the military outposts for me. How oh, nice. Can they take Madeira or, do they, do, or will they just bomb it to oblivion? Uh, not not sure. Might just bomb it to oblivion. Or do they have troop transports here with their fleet anyway? No, they don't. They don't. The AI is sort of not that great in also organizing troop transports at the, at the same time. Most of them seem to just prefer bombing stuff for, I don't know, for some reason. Uh, da, da, da. All right, so we're going to move on here. Everybody move first. All right, then you can move here. You will move here. And there's a new stack of troop transports. I don't entirely trust the Meklar, so let's um, send it here. If they'll shoot it down, I'll be a little bit pissed. And, and I have pretext for war, so... Not that I need pretext, but um, it's always nice to have pretext, you know? So you don't feel so bad about taking them out, you know? Just that slight uh, rest of conscience that you that, that you may have. You can say, always say, oh, they attacked me first, took down my troop transports, and I was definitely not going to use against them, right? Oh, actually, I need gravity generators here. Just noticed that. I was wondering why they don't produce any food here, but uh, then I realized I actually have gravity issues here. And they don't seem to be having a gravity generator, but I can't build one. Do you already have a gravity generator? And it's just too stupid to work. You have gravity generator, all right? I'll take that back. I don't need to, don't need to worry about gravity generator. My bad. Mm, I j I'm just gonna ignore that military outpost. It really doesn't do anything. Just sitting there. And once we've taken out all of the human colonies, they'll just. Um, self-destruct or something, but they'll not be an issue, so... Alright, move here. I need to further reinforce my forces down here if I want to make a push with them. 
because they are pushing into sort of Mershan, uh, Mershan, the Mekla heartland here, and um, they're basically frigates and a few older designs, but I don't think they actually have a Titan there or something. I mean, the wormhole group is still is still ready to go as well, but uh, they don't have transports at this point. Uh, may need to arrange for some. Huh. Good, good idea. Good idea. Everybody, move, please. And you'll move. If I have some spares here, I can just use it for the push down here later. So not really, not really an issue. All right, let's send two transports to the wormhole. Yep, everybody to the wormhole now. Just stay here for the time being. All right. Where's my Doomstar coming, by the way? Let me just check that real quick. 12 turns! Do we have... Yeah, we have much... Uh, we, we do have a little bit of money to spare, so let's just speed that up. Okay. Mm. Don't really have to build anything. Two transports. Just slightly irritated there for a sec. Uh, probably lots of colonies will be asking for troop transport orders. We still need quite a few of them. Mm, you, you're not. I'm actually almost done. But not quite. When you're done, you can support Tauri. Three. Alrighty, everybody move. Said move. Okay, I think we'll actually need all of you there. Not sure. You can move through the jump to the warp point. I don't think the space dragon will be an issue. Because they tend to move around to other planets and if you happen to be there then they'll just kill you. But they don't actually go to the warp points, I think, so that should not be an issue. Thank you. You're done, alright. A little jump point here, jump gate. Guess you can go here. Two. Goody, who I want to take first? Actually, we could probably take <clears throat> more than one of them at the same time, because most of their planets just don't have, have any defense at all. And probably they're also not gonna have marines at all, so let's actually just send the transports in there by themselves. Sounds stupid, but they don't actually need escorts in order to in, in, in order to engage. They can just attack by themselves. They have no marines there, so we'll just deploy. Same here. And they have troop transports here, so let's technically engage with all the forces here. Could have probably just sent, I don't know, a destroyer or something. Here. I only also need one. Only one. Alright. That was that was shiny. And you, 
also need some stuff. To, we also need to build some stuff. Uh, too much though, apparently. All right. Whoa. That's quite a number of troop transports. 150 fucking marines. Cool. All right. Let's send a handful of them over there so we have enough for the push to Madeira and probably over there. And the rest will join the forces in the solar system, I guess. But we do have more than enough for all of our needs around here. So you're gonna move here. Whereas you will join the guys over there. You're ready, it's good. Put a surveillance system here. I don't think we're actually gonna need you there. Just uh, wait for the force to return. All right. Goody goody. How many troop transports do we have right now? 74. All right. I think we're getting to the point where we'll actually have enough troop transports. Because we've been producing them like, um, I don't know, like bread. Guess it shows how Im imperialist we are. We don't produce nice things, we produce troop transports. Lots and lots of troop transports. Alright, join them. And there's a Doom star ready. Actually, just fun to watch it uh, go around. In any event, you're gonna wait here for your uh, colony ship and then you'll move together with it. Because it also wants to have a colony ship. Alright, now both of you will, join, will be joining the Warmo Force. As soon as the war breaks out, you're gonna move over here and then. You're gonna make your way to Orion. Not sure if I'm actually gonna send more ships with it. The War Sun should be more than capable enough to deal with the Guardian. It would actually be interesting to see if it's actually capable capable to deal with the Guardian on on, on, on its own. But I could em embarrass myself in the public by not sending enough ships. Well, let's let's let, let's try it. It's more fun for you if I fail. I I it, it I admit that. So. Let's at least give it. Let, let's at least give me the option to fail there. Really hard. All right. Move here. Goody goody. There's more. Move there. Move it. You too. I think with one of the higher production colonies. Let us agree to disagree and put all this behind us. No. Just no. Oh, I shouldn't even bother with the likes of you. Not sure what, what you're trying to pull there. You only have one planet left. I really see no reason to just um, let you continue to exist like this. It'll not help anybody. What's the battleship doing here? They're trying to take out the space monster. Doubt it'll win. I guess it'll, it'll it's trying to move through the military outpost and take that out. They seem to have a fondness for doing that. What I was trying to say earlier is um, with the colonies that are able to pull out one troop transfer per turn, maybe they could actually do something else. But really, there's not that much that they could do elsewise. I mean, they could technically build ships, but I have way better colonies for that. I don't really need that many more troop transports, so let's do one final tranche of troop transports everywhere. And once we've done that, you could do, you can do, I don't know, scratch your toes and um, build something nice or something. I don't really care. As long as I have enough troop transports, I don't really care what you do at this point. As long as you keep paying taxes and all. Not sure what I'm going to do with all that money, but... Um, <clears throat> All right, so one last tranche. All 
you're not actually done. Move here. Also move down here. All right, you join forces here. So what do I have here? Okay, I guess I actually want you guys to move together with the rest of the frigates here. So we have a frigate-only force there. There's nothing really special about having a frigate-only force there, but I'm not probably not be using these guys in an offensive cap in an offensive uh, capacity. And having them all here just um, re reduces the random losses to like uh, auto resolve fire that actually hits um, hits one of them in the campaign. So. Let's also send a Titan down there. Good to have you. You can go here. And you can go down here. Here. Almost out it. Alright. They're actually moving back now. Another human spy. Okay, they actually do have still the capability to send spies. So apparently, as soon as a spy center is destroyed, they can still continue with their missions, I guess, but they can't uh, build new ones. Also, wonder what would happen if I deported, because normally would return to the spy center, but there is no spy center. Unless it's on Madeira for some reason, but I highly doubt that. So let's just kill it. It doesn't have anywhere to go. Let's just put a, put that poor spy out, out of its misery, <laughs> you know? Could I actually take out the space monster along the way? Not sure why I didn't. I think there is an achievement where uh, that, that you only get if you personally eliminate all the space monsters and the guardian in one game. But I already have that and I have no intention of settling here, so... The dragon, the, the, that space dragon hasn't done anything to me, so pfft, it can just continue to exist, as far as I'm concerned. I'd actually like to have another cruiser, though. If I can have that, you're probably not the best word to produce it, though. I can actually just build these. I would like to have another cruiser. Maybe Phalus would actually be a good word to build that, because they are pretty well... They do. They they are ultra rich and a Gaia planet, so they'll not take too long building those. After that, put another defender, Titan. I don't care. Just do whatever you want. All right. Um, yeah. Let's just build defenders. It'll take take a while to build, but um. Don't think I need any more troop transports at this point. Probably sitting at like a hundred of those at this point. Yeah. All right. Just set every everything up. I'm gonna wait with the attack until we've actually taken Madeira. And also gives our last troop transports the the chance to actually get to their respective station. Move over there. We have food issues. Stop that. I'll move down here. Let's everybody move. And move up there. All right, as I said, I don't need any more troop transports, so built actually pretty decent with your production. Let's build a few more of these. All right, everybody move. So the stacks can go. Yes. You didn't move. Yeah, I wanted you to move. Thank you. Goody. Uh, we're also rich. 
guess if you have a space elevator and over the shipyard, you're actually pretty decently equipped to build stuff. So let's also build a few of these. Could have made another cotton here. I think this plant is actually pretty decent. I mean, with some restructuring, it could actually be pretty decent, but I just didn't bother with it because... As I mentioned, I really don't need any more productive planets. I get enough just by conquest. And I already have pretty pretty amazing productive centers. Uh, production centers, not productive. Not productive. So really has no 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 need for that. More is of course always more and more is more and more is different. <laughs> Someone can say um, where who I'm actually quoting with more is different, but uh, I guess you can just look it up via the internet. So it isn't really a test of if you're actually a physicist. A Meklaw spy. Huh? We just kill it. They're not welcome here. Apparently they don't have anything, a, a, any other people to spy on either, so... I actually have a, we actually have a population boom on this planet. I didn't, didn't, didn't really get any information on that. Maybe it actually started before we took it. Huh. Curious. So, I'm not gonna build a military outpost here, but a jump gate. Because it should be situated right in the heart of our of our territory, so there's really no reason to build anything there. And let's move to Madeira Prime and take it out of its misery, because the Meklaws haven't been able to really do it. Do have enough Marines here, I think. Woe to us all, when diplomacy and chivalry have come to an end. Yeah, you've been very diplomatic with me. I totally agree with that, bitch. What, what, what did I want to say? Asshat. Not, 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 not sure. Something about that. Sorry if that B word offended someone, but uh, he sort of was was always very negatively inclined toward us. Not sure why. I haven't really done anything, anything to hurt him, and I would have been okay with some cooperation in the early stages. But he just was always, always aggressive. I am not not aggressive, but. Um, Always bad mannered for a diplom for a supposedly di diplomatic guy that he should be. So I don't regret taking him out now. He had it coming. All right, most of the troop transports are there. The special Doomstar task force is also almost there. So I guess everything is set up. We could even get a little big chunk of the Meklaw fleet before it retreats. Yes. A surprise attack. A stab in the back, sort of. Uh, let's check where their main forces are located. Just some remnants. It's just an individual ship. Because my force are sort of stretched most thin around here. Though there is the wormhole task force that can just come out and say, Hello, we're here on the other side. We're gonna kick you in the ass. So apparently their main forces are these two blobs down here. And I do have a pretty good task force just next to them, so... Yeah. We're just gonna take him out. Betrayer style. They're... Um, I mean, you're in my system. Unauthorized access into my system. All right, in that case, let's actually declare war first. State the nature of this communication. Well, you may have noticed that you're the only one left, so... Can you put up a decent fight, at least? The disruption of our ongoing Entente was ill-advised. <laughs> yeah, I don't really care. So, who wants to shoot at stuff? 
let's actually all move forward at as fast as we can. They're not really supposed to be a threat. Both of our admirals are employing a, si a similar strategy of swarming out at the flanks, then having the flanks move forward. And if there aren't any flanks on the other side, move in to toward the center enemy group. Sort of bull's horn like tactics. But my flanks will be very comfortable taking out their their flank. The other missiles are not even hitting us. F and shame. Alright, flanks have taken out their flank, so let's now engage the center group. The destroyers are doing what they're supposed to do. If I don't require them to, to provide additional cover for center group, then they can do a pretty amazing job on, on their own. They are maneuverable enough to not be bothered by torpedoes. They have enough point defense to not be bothered by missiles. So they, they do work really, really well. Alright, got that one. Let's move up these guys in here. All right. Then we have the Womo Force. We'll join the Womo Force, and then the Womo Force would jump. Hello. Here's another fleet. If you didn't worry about uh, the other fleets already, here's another one. This one isn't really doing, isn't really the biggest one though. There's a Titan incoming, right? Or was a Titan incoming at some point? Is it already here? Oh yeah, that, that, that actually just was the Titan. Alright, now you're looking better. Alright, move up. Let's strike them all at, everywhere at the same time. Uh, da, 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 da. You're probably the biggest planet here, so... I have an Astro University. And try to not bother me with your trifles. I'm here to win a war, man. Alright. Ooh, another Titan. I think the force down here doesn't actually have uh, one of these. In case we need to blow a planet up. I mean, if we want to run into their homeworld. Though they haven't actually done too much to us. They have sent a few spies, but really nothing nothing crucial. You may just um, provide them with the honorable, we'll just take it. Because they, they have, they've been helpful, so... Don't see any particular reason why I would blow up their, their home planet. They actually do have pretty decent production. Right? Good, let's take Polos 2. <laughs> we have a few Marines. Alright. Nice, nice to have. Uh. All right, you're done here. Let's move on. Anybody else needs orders? Oh, you're already here. Okay. Um, also jump. Not sure why you didn't jump with the rest. What is it next turn already? Apparently, it's next turn already. And let's um quite a few ships here. Uh any in any event. Uh do you wanna block here or do you wanna move in here? I think the Death Star will be fine handling whatever they have here. They haven't been here for the ver for a very long time. No, they have no planetary installation. They have Ooh, they have one battleship over there. Scary. So actually, you'll, you'll just make a push to their homeworld. I could 
require some more troop transports for that though because you have like three planets to take maybe maybe more all right then next turn let's also rearrange some troop transports to you you go there should be set all right let's take this planet Oh, let's just take it. It was a Mershon colony at some point. Interesting. I guess it was on the other side of the war mode, so probably the Mershon could have could have expanded here. Alright, move up. The second part of the main Mechla forces here. Oh, do we want to watch this? Oh, we already... Ah, oh, let's, let's, let's watch this. Let's speed up the start a little bit, though. So, engage bull's horns. As you see, the... The flanks are moving ahead on their own and a little bit too fast if, if i might say so if i were to um suppose some slight improvements to that they should be moving a little bit slower because they can get get uh, to an enemy who's not moving ahead of the main force which is something that i delightfully exploit if i am actually in the underdog position in a fight i'll just stay where i am and the the flanks will be at my position way before their way before the slower ships in our center group will be so you can direct your efforts against the flanks first probably wipe them out and then wipe out the center group without support so th there's something there's uh the in general i think the general idea behind this admiral plant battle is sort of okay yeah it's a well-established military tactic but you can abuse it if the enemy just always adheres to that. That's sort of the main the main issue. If they always do that and you always know what to expect, then there's there can be problems with that. If it's not precisely timed and it's not precisely timed. So But alright, I think this was uh, long enough for today. In the next episode, we'll um, continue to roll over the Mechlar. I don't think they have any f any major forces left. Let me just take a look at uh, timeline graph for fleets. Army. Mechlar. Yeah, they are they're on their way down. They may have some small forces scattered around somewhere, but uh, their main organized fleet was destroyed. So we'll continue to waltz through them, take a Ryan and uh, win this game, right? Alright, uh, but we'll see that next time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.